This is fine. I don't think this is fine. Hey internet, it's Jessica and welcome back to Dream Daddy Joseph's Roots. So in the last episode, we did get to go on a, I guess, dates with Joseph. I, I did say how I felt about his route because he's still married to Mary. And it's not like they're in an open relationship, so this whole thing is a little bit awkward for me. Like, I know I know Mary flirts with uh, other random guys, as we found out about in uh, Robert's room, which she shouldn't be doing because she is still married too. But this whole situation is weird because I don't know how we're going to pursue it. Are we actually going to go into a relationship with Joseph behind Mary's back? Or, you know... Anyway, let's continue. Usually when I get to feel this way, I mainline invest it. Oh god. Usually when I feel this way, I mainline investigate a TV until I pass out, but tonight I feel like it would just make it me antsy. I decided to take a relaxing stroll. After a bit of wandering, I find myself passing by Jim and Kim's. Being a legal age and sound sound judgment, I decide to stop for a reasonable proportion alcoholic beverage. Typically, I try to limit my consumption of alcohol to set a positive example for Amanda, but also I feel the responsibility to play a role as a social agent in, in a community, and a watering hole such as Jim and Kim's is a perfect place to do it. Also, I desperately need a beer. He could have just said that instead of a whole speech. Jim and Kim's is lively tonight. The patrons are milling around, and even Neil seems to be having a good time. Coming here was a good idea. Ah. Oh no. Oh no, it's Mary! As I reach like as I reach to collect my beer, I see Mary at the end of the bar. She's not semi-ironically throwing herself all over anyone. In fact, she's alone. She looks so sad. A pang of guilt shoots through me. Does she know? Is this because of me? Am I a home wrecker? Oh, okay, so Darren does like feel like he's kinda like invading their marriage. Okay, that's good. Because I was hoping that like they they wouldn't put like you know rate it as like our dad wouldn't like care or something like that. So he does acknowledge it. I'm gonna say hi. Is that weird? Decide to go over and say hello. I walk over to her booth. She doesn't look up. The seat taken. She still doesn't look up. I take a seat anyways, and she finally notices me. Hmm. You. Okay, this was maybe not the best idea. Oh, are we gonna walk her home? This seems like a familiar scene, but this time she's probably pissed at us because we're not doing Robert's route, so... Oh dear. Uh, hey! Ah. Having fun with your new best friend, Joseph. Uh, he's so great. I'm so glad! I'm so happy for you two! Mary, I'm not- hey. I never accuse you of anything on Kalth, Darren. You're just having an innocent, very platonic time with my husband. A supportive friendship. Ugh. You're a good friend, aren't you? Sh sure, yep, just friends. I'm there when he needs to be Mary. I- uh, the, uh, Not the last one, that's not a good idea to say right now, because she's clearly drunk and really mad, so... Uh, I don't know what to say. Do I say this? Cause like, I feel like she's gonna yell at me no matter what I say. I mean, he is my friend, but... Unlike some other people in his life. Oh. Uh. Oh, I didn't mean it like that. I just meant like, yeah, I'm there for him cause he's unhappy too. Oh shit, okay, no, I- Oh, this is getting too much. So you're an expert on my marriage now. It doesn't take an expert to see that you two are miserable. I'm not trying to be an expert on your marriage, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, like, I, I don't know what else to say. I, I can tell you that you're having a rough time, and I just want you to know that it doesn't have to be like this. I don't want to have any hard feelings between us, Mary. Mary pauses. Uh. It's all messed up. I'm sorry. Mm. I'm sorry for us both. Mary pays her tab and strides out of Jim and Kim's without looking back. Oh no. Okay, she's definitely pissed at me. Um, that didn't go as planned as I thought it did, but it's like, it's like... It's like she knows this entire marriage is not going to work out, obviously. I think she's known that for a while, even before we got in a relationship or relationship with him, you know what I mean? But, like, the problem with Joseph is, like, every time Mary tries to, like, make a deal, like, like, make a... I don't want to say make a scene, but she's trying to bring attention to the fact that she's unhappy. He's always like, oh, honey, can we talk about this later? There's nothing wrong and whatever. He's, like, avoiding her. And that's the thing I don't like about Joseph. Like... He wants- he wants freedom for himself, like, be happy, but he doesn't care about his- his wife. Enough to do the same for her. That's pretty fucked up. I don't know. Alright, we're going on the last date for uh, Joseph, and then I'm also gonna do his secret ending, because I know it's weird. I really want to see Joseph again, but after that weird encounter with Mary, I don't know. He's my friend, right? I should be able to hang out with him and not- and not be weird, right? 
Right? The computer pings and as a message flies into my inbox. It's Joseph. Uh oh. Like, actually hang out. No manual labor, no impromptu therapy sessions with sad DJs, no kids, just you and me and the open ocean. Oh no. Wait, how are we gonna get onto the open ocean? How are you gonna get into the open ocean, you might ask? Good question. Whoa, persistence. Uh, if you're interested, I'll meet you down by the marina and you can check out the goods. If you know what I mean. And I mean my yacht. Let me know. Joseph owns a yacht? I thought that was obvious when the guy has the anchor above his house, you know? <laughs> Joseph owns a yacht? Yeah. I'm as surprised as you are. Oh. You've been holding out on me, your only daughter whom you love. What, did you think having me as a father would somehow afford you the fringe benefit of getting into a- uh, to go on a yacht? Mm -hmm. What else did it get me? Healthy upbringing in my supportive environment. I'm literally paying for your college. Not a dog, that's for sure. A healthy upbringing in a supportive environment. <laughs> yeah, okay, but what if I had the exact same upbringing in a healthy environment, but also I could get on a yacht sometimes? Relax, kiddo. Joseph's inviting me on his yacht. It's gonna be a yacht of fun. Oh my god, why? <laughs> I'm glad you're excited, but that doesn't mean you get to start throwing out puns. Why yacht, Amanda? <laughs> hmm. Well, I gotta get ready to go on my friend's yacht. I started to walk away, but Amanda stops me. Oh. Hey, in all seriousness, I hope you have fun. But make good choices, okay? But dad! Hmm. Don't stay out too late or you can't go to Jennifer L Longford's birthday party this weekend. She promised me that she would propose to me, but ended up going with Logan Cl Clutchfield. I'm not going anywhere near that party. Good bit, dad. Good bit. I respond back to Joseph, letting you know that I'll be there. A quaint marina completed with local mom and pop shop and the small diner frame by the bay. I've gone for a few walks by the bayside to stare enviously at all the nice boats before. So Joseph should be around here somewhere. Gosh, this is fancy. I feel like a little out of place. Hey, Darren! Joseph! Uh, where are you? Up here! I look up. Joseph waits for me at the top of a huge yacht. I've never been on a yacht before. You never forget your first... I glance at the name on the side of the boat. The St. Peter, huh? And Terry did this thing from my pops. Fi real fire and brimstone type. Love yachts. So, what's the plan, Captain? I figure since the last time we went a bit sideways, we'd cast our own lot on the open sea, wrestle with the Neptune, set sail, and set sails on the seas of adventure. You're kind of a goofball when you're not wrangling your kids, you know? Joseph smiles and wigs from his perch. I have no idea what you're talking about. Joseph hops down and extends a hand to me, helping me up onto his yacht. I've thrown up by how soft his hands are. Does he moisturize or what? Oh my god. <laughs> Darren, stop thinking about his hands! Pure thoughts. You're gonna be on a boat alone with Joseph on the open ocean. It's a yacht. He's married. It's fine. This is fine. I don't think this is fine. <laughs> After undoing the mooring, mooring and climbing onto the captain's seat, Joseph slowly takes the boat out, ringing a big steel bell with an extra emphasis even though nobody else seems to be around. Hmm. Shoving up! Boat launching! Man and boat launching as one! The St. Peter navigates out to the marina into the open water, with Joseph doing the occasional steering flourish as the boat bobs along with the waves. <laughs> he seems a lot more relaxed out here. Joseph is definitely in his element. <laughs> this is the part where we wrestle Neptune, so please remove your shirt and roll in some talcum powder. I didn't bring any talcum powder. Luckily, I brought my uh, Neptuning fork. Can do! Sure, I guess! Oh. I don't know. I dramatically pull off my shirt and my dad bod illuminates in the reflection of Maple Bay's rippling water. I am strong. <laughs> Not bad. We might have to tag team Neptune together. Um. Oh God. I'm suddenly worried that I haven't applied a strong enough SPF sunscreen and it might get sunburnt. I pull. I put my shirt back on. For a while, we watch as the trees and, and waves passes by. Where are we going? A little further out. It's a quite it's a lot quieter once we get onto the open water. <laughs> Plus, we can see whales. Whales are cool. I don't trust whales. Nothing should be that big. Oh, yeah. Noted. Joseph maneuvers with a boat past some buoys. He sighs. Mm. I wish I could get out here more often, but you know. Family, wife, saving souls. Wink. So many souls. I can barely hold them all. I watched Joseph work the boat. Despite his age, he doesn't look like he's slowed down at all. From here, I can see how toned his muscles are. And pure thoughts! <laughs> Joseph and I boat in silence as the bay gets smaller and smaller behind us. I decide to take a peek over the edge of the ship. The wake of this kicks off as 
kicks off as intense. I wonder if Joseph would ever let me water ski off his yacht. Hey, dolphins! Joseph, there are dolphins. So you're scared of whales, but not dolphins. I feel like there's some unspoken truth between man and dolphin. I would be more comfortable riding a dolphin into battle. Dolphins are way more dangerous. They are sometimes drowning their own babies for fun, you know. Can I trust nothing on the open ocean? I like to think I'm pretty cool. Alright, Joseph. It's you and me versus the entire entirety of the marina life. I yell it to the ocean. You're spineless in <laughs> And you're in all of spineless invertebrates. I had lobster last week and I can't wait to eat more of you. My life goal is to punch as many fish as I can before I die. You know, I'm gonna say the second one. I had lobster. I can't wait to eat more of you. That's pretty funny. <laughs> you tell him, Darren. Oh. And here we are. Oh. Darren, welcome to the ocean. Like into the vast expanse of the blueness. Yep, that's the ocean. I'm suddenly struck with an overwhelming sense of claustrophobia despite being in the wide open space. I'm on a boat with a handsome man, a handsome married man, and there are whales beneath us. Nothing should be that big. <laughs> it's a little daunting, isn't it? Do you trust the whales? Hmm. You know, there are more dangerous things in the ocean than whales, right? Hey. Like tuna? The tuna is the apex of predator. What about sharks? Oh. Sharks are tight. <laughs> it's the tuna that you gotta watch out for. And the whales? Hey, wanna look over wistfully over at the sea with me? Joseph and I head to the boat of the ship and to do some quiet comp contemplation. You know why? Oh. Shh. Quiet contemplation. Oh. I'm alone with my thoughts. Cool. Hey. I look out of the sea for a bit, then over to Joseph. He's so commanding as he surveys the ocean. It feels like he's uh, really at home in the water. What Mary said to me at the bar, I can't stop thinking about it. Is she right? But she's terrible to him. He's unhappy. He deserves better. No! Ah! Uh, like, I get it. We're supposed to side with Joseph because Darren is interested in him. But you have to realize that they're both terrible. Like, they're both not doing well in this marriage. It's not Mary's fault or it's not just Joseph's fault. It's both of them. I don't like this. Why is this, like, one sided You just saw what happened to Mary, too. I don't know what to think about this, but I feel so drawn to Joseph. I should say something. So, uh, about Mary. Joseph continues to stare off into the distance. It's, um... Hmm. Well, if you really want to know. Oh. Suddenly, I hear a, sp a sputer coming from the engine room. Joseph runs over to the boat, controls the taps on the dials. I guess we can talk about Mary later. Oh, okay. So, uh -huh. we might have a small problem. What small problem? <laughs> we uh, are out about gas. Are the whales gonna get us? The whales siphoned our gas. <laughs> it's okay! I can call one of the boat buddies to come out and throw to come us and tow us back in. Joseph pulls out his phone. Yeah. Just kidding, I can't do that because there's no service. Great, we're stuck on a boat with him now. <laughs> I check my phone. I don't have service either. Should we just submit ourselves to the whales? Well, I do have an old radio in the office, but it's broken. Are you handy with tools? I am a dad. If the radio is anything like frantically putting together a bike on Christmas Eve, it should be no problem. Let's take a look and see what we can figure out. Joseph directs me towards the radio and showcases it inside. Hmm, I don't know how radios work. <laughs> I think there's some frayed wires in here. If we can reattach them, this should be a working radio in no time. We stare at the interior of the radio. I'm not entirely sure what I'm looking at. I don't think Joseph knows either. Err, uh, you know what? Let's just throw some stuff around in there and see what works. Oh dear. Oh dear, I actually have to fit. Why is there a condom here? What the hell? Okay. Okay. Uh. Did that. Did that work some. Oh god, I don't even know what to do. Does this work? Like, I don't fucking know. How do you know what. I don't. I don't understand what I'm supposed to do. What is this? Gum? That's gross. Oh my god, the gum got stuck. <laughs> Did we just throw everything in here? Like, I don't even know. Let's just throw everything and see what happens. What the hell is that? Is that a coconut? There we, there we go. Everything's in there now. This should... Uh, work. Oh, it did work! I was just- I was just playing. Wow, really? I w I just thought, like, throw everything in there and it would work. Hey, it works! Kinda. The radio springs to life. Whoa, we did it! Joseph speaks into the receiver. Oh. Hello? Hello? Can anyone hear me? Mm. He tries a few other channels. Nobody responds. Mm. We might be a little far out. I don't think there's anyone in range. How big is the range? Well, this radio came with the boat when my dad bought it in the 60s, so not great. That's reassuring. Now what? There are worse places to be stuck on than a yacht. Wine? 
I mean, yeah, sure. I think he's panicking already. I keep a couple emergency bottles below deck. Want to grab some while I fiddle with the radio some more? Whoa. Why? Dude, it's kind of messy in here. Let's see. Wine. Wine. It's got to be around here somewhere. There are some clothes sewn together on the floor. Socks, slacks, yep, a pink polo shirt. Well, I guess I know if Joseph pre prefers boxers or briefs. Hey, wine glasses. I must be on hot on the trail. But no wine. I grab two glasses and get back to searching. Photos? There's a few photos on the wall. Looks like a picture of Joseph and Mary's wedding day. Nice grandpa glasses. Looking like a real slick there, Joe. Another picture of Mary and Joseph on this very yacht. Quality 90s fashion right here. Mary still has her uh, planted stink face, but at least Joseph seems happier on the water. Hey, it's all the dads. Look, there's a couple from years ago. The gang's all here. Brian, Matt, Hugo, Craig, Damien, Robert. Wow, Robert's actually smiling and wearing a sweater. Really? I want to see that. That's... I know that sweater. And there's this one guy at the end I don't recognize. Hugo's ex, maybe? And hey, here's Joseph go-karting with the kids. That's fun. Take a look at everything else on the sh- Hey, it's wine! A whole drawer full of wine! It's a yacht club miracle! Twilight Rogue, huh? Come to daddy. Finally, time to get back to Joseph. I bring the wine and glasses up to the deck to find Joseph still hunched over in the radio. <laughs> Darren, wine! Good to see you two. Just in time for the sunset. I didn't take you for a drinker. Yeah. Haven't you heard? I'm a cool minister. How cool. Oh. I can land half my kickflips. What is that, like, four? Mm. Five on a good day. Pour me. Regular pour. Power pour! <laughs> can we do power pour just to show up? Mm. Whoa. Okay, time to party. We clink our glasses and drink up. Mm. This wine isn't bad. The hint of... Am I tasting grapes? <laughs> we have a discerning palate. It might be grapes. Joseph and I lounge on the deck with our yacht wine, taking in the ocean air. It's The sun starts to dip below the horizon. We could be stranded out here forever. Oh. I can't think of anyone else I would want to be stranded with. It's just you, me, and... Oh. All those whales. So many whales. You're killing the vibe. Revive the vibe, Darren. Generally, it takes three days for a giant stone to roll over at the, the front of the tomb. But I think we could save it. Uh... Hey, this view, though, I guess. Oh. I mean, there's something a lot prettier right in front of me. Sweet, fully bodied. God damn. Jesus Christ, he's flirting hardcore. Joseph, I... <laughs> this wine is so good. God damn. <laughs> hey, what's it like owning a yacht, I guess? <sighs> Fuel prices are on the rise. Yearly maintenance is a bit of a strain on the finances. Can't really take it out in the winter months. Hmm. But also, sometimes you can party on your yacht and everyone thinks you're cool. It's so already even out. Oh. Darren, if you had a yacht, what would you name it? The Salty Swallow. Long, hard, and full semen. <laughs> Fuck you, whales! Hey, I'm gonna go with long, hard, and full of semen because why not? <laughs> Wine shoots out of Joseph's nose. Oh. I need to make some fungals and change my name of this boat. I go take another sip of wine, but stop myself. Is wine acceptable beverage in Margarita Zone? <laughs> that it is, Darren. All beverages of leisure are welcome in the Margarita Zone. This is almost what we wanted, right? Oh. No responsibilities, no worries, nothing other than dying out here. And the whales? Oh. But yeah, I'd say we're in the zone. Joseph and I clink our glasses again. To the Margarita Zone. Yeah. Wasted away again. If you had any salt shakers, we can arrange them into a pentagram and summon Jimmy Buffer. Maybe he can save us. Oh. As a youth minister, I make packs with neither the devil nor island jammers. If we're gonna go after this boat, it will be the, by the grace of God. <laughs> or Seely Dan. <laughs> ha! Huh, amen. Oh. Our laughter dies down. We're both silent for a moment, looking in each, into each other's eyes. Oh no! No! Don't! Don't kiss him! This is no bad Darren! Ah! Joseph leans in closer. I feel myself doing the same. This is a bad idea. This is a bad idea. It is! I kind of feel like, like doing this will only end up hurting someone else. But his face is real close to my face. Darren, I have to tell you something. Mary and I are done. What? I pull back. I think about the clothes sewn around the lounge. The undone bed. Are you living on this boat? I... I didn't want to mention it, but... He sighs, strolling back into the control of the boat. I lean on the console next to him. We had a very long talk, and it's unsalvageable. I'm staying here until everything is sorted out. Oh, I'm so sorry. If there's anything I can do... I'm fine. I'm fine. Actually, it was a long time coming. For the first time in a long time, I'm seeing a path of ha to happiness, and now I can focus on myself and stop trying to deny things to make me happy. I need someone who will be there for me. Someone kind and honest. And you deserve that, Joseph. You really do. 
Anyway, I've been having these crazy feelings. There's someone who could get into the habit of having around. Someone very close to here. He's talking about us. Is it whales? <laughs> I mean you. Oh. I was trying to be subtle. I think I'm picking up what Joseph was putting down. I lean forward, closing the gap between us when... Whoa! Joseph grabs the receiver. Come in, come in. Is anyone there? Uh, no? Over? We're stranded on the open waters. We've been here for hours. Please send help. Over. But wait. Are you guys gonna kiss? <laughs> Damn it! I, I mean, uh, what are your coordinates? Over. Uh. Darren, have you been leaning on the talk button this whole time? I look down. Oh. Oh, I definitely have been leaning on the talk button. Betrayed by my own butt yet again. Yeah. I didn't lean on it. Uh, you leaned on it. Oh, Neither of you were leaning on the talk button. We didn't hear anything over. Oh. Hey, were you listening to us? Sir, we here at the Coast Guard are professionals. We're not doing that. But as professionals, it seems like you two deserve happiness, and we think it's closer than you think. Um, over. <laughs> How soon can you guys be here and give us a tow? Over. We'll, uh, pick you up in the morning. Sounds like you two are having some ha things to hash out. Over and out. Wait! Silence. Nobody returns the radio calls. Oh. I think they left. We stared at each other for a second. Hmm. Well, Joseph carefully places the receiver on the table, making sure to ta the talk button is in Preston. Uh, well, okay. Joseph grabs me by the shirt and pulls me to a kiss. His lips are soft and sweet from the wine, and his skin is still warm from the sun. Um, I don't know how I feel about this. Like, I get it. He's getting a divorce from Mary now, but, like, is it me or does it feel too soon to go in a relationship with a dude who just, you know, broke up with his wife? It's not just me, like, I don't know. I reach for his belt and pull him even closer, running my free hand under his shirt and up his side. He pushes me against the boat console, kissing down my- Jesus Christ! <laughs> Come on! His hand drifts on my thighs and effortlessly picks me up. Wow, just what carries me below deck. Alrighty? Jeez! I'd be lying if I say I haven't had fancy about this, but I didn't think he'd be so aggressive. I've wanted this for so long. He throws me onto the bed, I let out a little yelp. Lots of time to kill Darren, we better get started. What? Uh, what? <laughs> oh man, I might have overdone on the wine last night. Just a few more minutes, I'll sleep. I'll sleep will just do fine. Wait. I open my eyes to find Joseph. If Joseph's face a few inches from mine, an arm slung around my waist. He's sleeping peacefully, his hair and his lips a little, little red. I think this is what I was talking about when we were discussing Margarita Zone, finding little perfect moments of joy, like the way you light, like the way the light falls across Joseph's face, or how he's still holding onto me tight even in sleep. Very tempted to curl up closer and keep him uh, closer to him and keep sleeping, but I know the Coast Guard will probably be here soon, and I'd like to be wearing clothes when that happens. I nod. I nudge Joseph. It takes a couple of shakes before he he literally opens his eyes. When he knows me hovering over him, he breaks into a huge grin. We should get dressed. Joseph pulls me in for a kiss. Do we have to? Another kiss. Stop trying to tempt me. Fine, fine. Ugh. The Coast Guard eventually shows up and tows us back to the bay. They they thankfully keep their comments to themselves. That's good. That'd be a little awkward if they said something. Joseph and I step off of the yacht and he walks over to my car. <laughs> Had a great time. Me too. Uh, no thanks to the whales. <laughs> shh, shh. You're on land, Nile. They can't hurt you. Take care, Joseph. Oh. You too. He gives me one like kiss on the lips and he turns around to walk back to his boat. Oh man, I don't know how I feel about this. I mean, yeah, cool smut, but I mean like... Isn't it kind of early? You just broke up with your wife. Like, I don't fucking know. Anyway. Well, I've been gone an entire day. Hopefully Amanda's alright. Amanda? I'm... Dad? Mm. She runs up to me and hugs me. Mm. I was gently concerned about your well-being, but upon closer inspection, you seem to be okay. What happened? The yacht ran out of gas and we got stuck. But it was okay because I was on a yacht. Mm. Weren't you scared? Your father feels no fear. Were you able to take care of yourself for the night? Yeah, just did a ton of drugs, vandalized a few cars, and, and then missed some friends from my school. All in a pretty low-key night. Where'd you learn that from? I learned it from you, Dad. Well, if you did, you would have funneled those funds through the legitimate cash and carry business, fudging the books over the courses of years so you don't arouse suspicion from the feds. Rookie mistake, Panda. Huh. I'm glad you're back in one piece. Did you make good choices? Yeah, I think I did. But hey, I'm starving. Want to make sandwiches out of whatever we can find in the fridge? More than anything, Pops. Day complete! I like how we got the cool meter almost to 100%. That's interesting. Yeah, I mean, you look, you look great. That was, that was, that was fun. 
Okay, so once again, like I, I'm once again, I'm, I'm actually surprised that Joseph, out of all the dads, Joseph is the one that gets the, the smutty, the smutty scenes because Robert was pretty close. We did make out with him, but like, um, we didn't fully like sleep with him. We only slept with Joseph. But I just find it, I don't, I don't know why it just makes me so uncomfortable because like. It would consider both of them cheating, right? Because Mary was flirting with a bunch of guys every day, or every night she goes to the bar, and then Joseph was flirting with Darren. And then Mary knew. I don't know if Joseph knew about her flirting with other people, but I'm, j I'm just saying. Uh, it makes me sad, I don't know. Okay, so I read some of the comments in the last episode. Apparently there's a glitch with Joseph. You, there's like in no way to get his good ending. The sun is setting and everyone seems to be eating their fill. As the party starts to wind down, I take a seat next to Joseph. Joseph, it's so great to see you again. <laughs> great party! I should have you organize our next youth group mixer. My dancing skills are ready whenever you need them. Hey, if you aren't busy this weekend, I was thinking that we could catch up a movie or something. Duh. Yeah, yeah, that sounds like that would be fun. This feels weird. It doesn't feel like it did on the yacht. So, uh... I guess things are a little friendly with Mary? Yeah, I, I wanted to talk to you about that. Joseph sighs. We talked, and we talked for a long time. There was some yelling and crying, but ultimately there was reconciliation. I'm sorry, Darren. I have to make this work with Mary. Oh. Oh! Oh, this is so awkward! Maybe it's not a glitch. I think this is on purpose, actually, if I think about it. Maybe this is actually the good ending, where Joseph goes back to Mary? But still, it just- Oh god, okay, I'll talk about it later. I know I shouldn't have. I didn't mean to hurt you, and I'm really sorry you caught up in all of this. I just felt so alone lately, and I'm not sure I'm doing the right thing here. <laughs> You've come to mean so much to me, and I'll never forget all those beautiful moments we shared together. But I have to thank you. In a way, this whole situation helped- This whole situation with you helped me realize that I'm still in love with my wife very much. Fuck you, Joseph! What the fuck? Like- Hey, I really like you, Darren. Let's just sleep together and have margaritas on. And then the next thing you know, oh yeah, by the way, I really love my wife. It took me sleeping with another person to figure out that I loved her. I don't like Joseph. Fuck you. What the hell? Oh, that's great. Hmm. I know this probably isn't what you wanted to hear, and I'm sorry if you were hoping to sun for something different. But this is where my life is, and I need you to do right by and I need to do right by my family. But hey. Joseph squeezes a hand. We'll always have margaritas on. Joseph stands up. Huh? Take care, Darren. You too, Joseph. Joseph walks off. I... Man, did I do something wrong? Was there another way that could have ended if I did... I've done things differently? I walk over to the half-melted remains of the ice cream cake and shove a fork full in my mouth. The sizing ring is my new boyfriend. The last guests begin to make their way out of the party. Amanda wanders over and sits down next to me. I'm glad you made some friends. Yeah... I know that's not what you were looking for, but these people care about you. I love you, Dad. We'll always have each other. Oh, this is so sad. You're right. It's gonna be hard at first, but this is the next chapter in our story, and I would be nervous about it, but I know that you're always gonna be looking out for me, the same way I'll always be looking out for you. Mm. Team Dangadoo! Team Dangadoo. At least we have our daughter! <laughs> All right, so that's the ending. I, I don't know if it's actually a glitch. I just heard from some of the comments that it was glitched, but maybe that is actually the ending. Like, if you think about it, maybe the whole point of Joseph's rune was just to get- to, for him to realize that, oh, he shouldn't be doing this, he should stay with his wife. But it just pissed me off because he's just like, he kind of used us. You know what I mean? I know there's some fault in Darren. He shouldn't be flirting with the guy he's married and clearly he's having problems with his wife regardless if they're together or not. Like, he shouldn't have done anything about it, but like, Joseph is definitely to blame in this as well. The dude knows he has problems, but he he avoids everything, sleeps with Darren, makes him like fall in love with him, and then is just like, oh, never mind, I want to go back to Mary. Even though Mary was completely unhappy, and he ignoring her, the fact that she needed help too, but he was always ignoring her. That's why she was so close with Robert, because Robert experienced the same thing. What the f- I'm so pissed! And then I also heard from other people that he actually slept with Robert too. So, if you think about it, Joseph's an asshole. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I don't know, like, I, th this is probably the route that I don't like uh, the most. Mainly because it just makes me mad. <laughs> but I don't know. Oh, we got a, actually an end card. Wish you were here and Margarita Zone.
I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm very upset with Joseph right now. Okay, so that was the end of Joseph's good route or normal, I don't know, ending, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to do one more video on Joseph for his secret ending so we can learn more about him. And then I'll let you guys choose the next uh, dad we're going to romance. But I'm just so pissed about Joseph. I don't know, I'm just so mad about him. Anyway, if you guys enjoyed this video of Dream Daddy, remember to leave a like, comment, subscribe to join the companions, and please let me know what you guys thought about this route. Did you think the way Joseph handled his uh, marital problems was appropriate? Or not? Please let me know in the comments! And if you guys would like to help support the channel on Patreon, there's a link in the description. You get early access to videos, videos for Patreon only, the Discord server to come talk to me, and a bunch of other stuff as well. Alright, uh, we'll see about a secret ending in the next video! <laughs> Bye guys! I can appreciate good looking figure when I see one. Everyone's freaking gay in this game, can I just say that? I just didn't expect Yvonne to be the kind hearted person when I first saw her. That twitches and I recoil. It- <laughs>